Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the word audio devotional. Today's topic is what you hear. And our anchor scripture is taken from the book of Judges chapter 7 and verse 11. And you will hear what they say. And afterward, you will have the courage to go down against the camp. Then he went down with Pura, his servant, to the outposts of the army that was in the camp. A few days ago, we shared an episode about how fear is a highly contagious virus that we should flee from at all costs. Today, I want to share on courage and faith. In our scripture, God had asked Gideon to go and fight a battle. The Lord knew that Gideon was still harboring some fears about the outcome of that battle. So, he asked Gideon to go to the enemy's camp a night before the battle. Now, listen to what God said. He said, go down. You will hear a conversation and then courage will come. Even though God was speaking specifically to Gideon, he concealed a principle in that instruction. Courage is birthed by the things we hear. Courage and faith go hand in hand. They both are birthed and increased by what we hear and listen to. The Bible says immediately Gideon heard the conversation. He returned to his camp and got his men ready for battle. He knew he had won. The last day, I told the story of how I went to someone's house one Christmas and left deflated with all the negative talk that went on. Now that I know better, I am more deliberate about my conversations and who I listen to, and I urge you to be too. There are calls that I rarely pick up now because I know how they will go, so I avoid them. There are yet calls that I will always take because I know that I will get off that line encouraged and with my faith strengthened. Remember that the Bible says without faith, it is impossible to please God. So you will agree with me that it is important to contend for this faith. There is a relationship between what you hear and the level of your courage and your faith. We need to really start paying attention to what we are hearing and listening to. My only biological sister was very, very ill um, sometime one or two years ago. She shared with me that in her deepest, darkest moments, when she was deeply in pain and almost dying, the conversations she had with people who didn't believe in God began playing in her head. At those times when she needed faith the most, conversations with people who continually denied the existence of God came back to her. Thank God for God's mercy. He was able to pull her out of the trap of the enemy. But please, let's be careful. Let's be deliberate about what we are listening to. Everything you hear is either feeding your faith and your courage or feeding your fear. Let's be deliberate about what we listen to, who we listen to, and and all of that. And God will help us. In Jesus' name, let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for your word. Please receive all the glory, almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you are blessed, please drop me a line on audio devotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. You could also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at 3 Minutes Audio Devotional. Remember, Wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.